Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to have you stop in and visit. It means more to me than I can ever let you know. So thank you everyone so much. If you are new to my channel, I hope you click on that little red subscribe button over there. I would love to have you come back and join me for future videos. Today I'm going to be doing a book of the month club. And I did get this um, a couple of months ago and I mentioned it in a Wellness Wednesday video, but um, I don't think I did an actual unboxing. So this, I skipped last month because nothing jumped at me, but this month, three books fell into my cart. So yeah, I'm so happy to be getting into reading again and just thought I would kind of share this with you. So, but before I do that, you know, I think it's been a while since I did a shot with you guys. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that, but I have been drinking a lot of coffee lately, which makes me kind of buzzy sometimes, but sometimes I need to unwind and then I have a shot. So I don't think I did one with anybody for St. Patty's Day. I mean, we had a couple of drinks at work, uh, St. Patty's Day week, but we didn't do any shots. So yeah, that, what's, up, what's up with that, people? But anyway, I've got my tippy cow. So with this uh, tippy cow, it's a rum cream. This one is Shamrock Mint. And the other one that I'm using to mix it with is the vanilla soft serve. And it's like vanilla soft serve ice cream. Very creamy, very good. And I've got my twisted shot glass. So it's kind of got this little bar in the middle so you can put two different alcohols or, you know, Kool-Aid, something like that. The kids want to have something. And then you just kind of drink it together and it just kind of mixes and it tastes really, really good. And I got these because uh, you can get these twisted shots that already are pre-measured with different alcohols and they're really, really good. But I'm cheap and I save the glasses and then I make my own. Yeah. So cheers, everyone. And, uh, it's a little late, but happy St. Patty's Day. So, so good. Alrighty, so back to Book of the Month Club. So, yeah, so um, I used somebody's link when I started this. And when I used the link, it gave me my first book for $9.99. Now, of course, when I joined, they gave me a link. But when I click on it, it doesn't say anything to who's ever using my link that they get the ninth first book for $9.99. So maybe that goes for everyone. But if you go, if you are interested in getting a book of the month and you use my link and you don't get a book for $9.99, I would get out of it quick and then we'll find someone that does have a link for you. Otherwise, I do get a credit, which I have no idea how to... What happens with those but if you can get a, your first book for $9.99 that's pretty good yeah so they say the books average like between 12 and 16 dollars but I think the ones that I've been getting for the book of the month have been right around $14.99 shipping is free I did skip last month because nothing jumped at me but I did you know then they have a section called all books and so I put those into my cart but I guess you can't get those books in your cart unless you get a book of the month club so I forgot about that so when I picked a book for March, those books automatically went into my shopping cart. And I was oh yeah, okay, okay, I'll get three books this month. Yeah, so every month they give you a choice of five books for the Book of the Month Club. And um, you get to choose between those books. And of course, if like me, you, there was nothing you were interested in, you can skip the month. You just click skip the month, otherwise they're going to send you one. And um, yeah, so let's get into the books that I chose. So this one was one of my choices from the Book of the Month Club. It's by Carol Lovering, which I've never read any of her books, but I'm excited to get into this one. So this is called Too Good to Be True. And it says one love story, two marriages, three versions of the truth. And the retail value of this book is $27.99. So joining the book of the month club you do get discounts on your book so that makes it really fun there are all new releases so you may even get to get them on the book of the month club before they're in your local stores maybe i don't know for sure so anyway on the inside cover so it says sky stalling is overjoyed when her boyfriend burke michaels proposes after a whirlwind courtship Though Skye seems to have the world at her fingertips, she's smart, she's beautiful, and from a well-off family. She's also battled crippling OCD ever since her mother's death when she was 11, and her romantic relationships have suffered as a result. But now, Burke, handsome, older, and more emotionally mature than any man she's met before, says he wants her forever. Says he wants her forever except Burke isn't who he claims to be 
and I don't know what that word is, is interseded, I don't know, letters to his therapist reveal the truth. He's happily married and using Sky for his own deceptive ends. In a third perspective, set 30 years earlier, a scrappy 17-year-old girl named Heather is determined to end things with Burke, a local bad boy, and make a better life for herself in New York City. But can her adolescent love stay firmly in her past, or will he find his way into her future? On a collision course she doesn't see coming, Skye throws herself into wedding planning as Burke's scheme grows ever more twisted. But of course, even the best laid plans can go astray. And just when you think you know where this story is going, you'll discover that there's more than one way to spin the truth. So I thought that sounded really interesting. And the next, and then these were the ones from older Book of the Month clubs. This one's called Lucy Foley. And again, I've never read any of her books. This one's called The Guest List, but it sounded really, really interesting. So on the back, an exclusive wedding on a remote Irish island, the bride, the plus one, the best man, the wedding planner, the bridesmaid. All have a secret, all have a motive, but only one is a murderer. Alrighty, so it's the wedding of the year, but someone won't survive it. On a remote island off the coast of Ireland, guests gather to celebrate the wedding of Jules Keegan and Will Slater. Will is a rising television star, handsome and charming. Jules is a smart, ambitious magazine edit, editor, publisher. I have no idea where editor came from. I don't think it's the drink. Uh, okay, though the sea is a little choppy and the cell service spotty, the wedding is everything you'd expect a young power couple. Designer dress, four-tiered cake, boutique whiskey, vintage champagne, Every detail has been curated to perfection. All that's left to orchestrate is the happiness. But perfection is for plans and people are all too human. It's not long after the cake is cut and the champagne popped that resentments and petty jealousies come out. Worst yet, the latest barometer reading shows the weather has shifted from fair to changeable and dark clouds are looming overhead. Everyone on the island has a secret. Everyone has a motive. And someone won't leave this wedding alive. Book number two. How interesting did that sound, right? Especially on an Irish island, you just kind of, oh, it just sounds so really nice. So the next one, I may have got this one for the cover because it reminds me of Under the Tuscan Sun, and I love that movie. So anyway, this is called The Star-Crossed Sisters of Tuscany. And it's by Lori Nelson Spielman. Alrighty. So nothing on the back cover to cheat. So on the inside cover, it says, since the day Philomena, and you know, Philomena takes me back because uh, one of my girlfriends in high school, uh, she was only like in my hometown for like two years and her dad was in the Navy and they traveled everywhere. And um, when she left um, Mansfield, Massachusetts, she went to Alexandria, uh, Virginia, and I never got to go see her there. And um, then she moved to Westminster, Colorado. And so I was actually, I had actually went out to live with them for about a month, uh, kind of get through some issues, uh, private issues. And uh, yeah, it was really fun going to school there. And of course, I thought that was the year I was going to get a sunburn because I, it was Denver, Colorado. I was a mile closer to the sun. And I thought, this is the year I'm going to get a sunburn. I'm going to get a suntan. Yeah, I didn't. And then I came home and then I went back later when she got married. It was really a beautiful area. So anyway, what reminded me of that is Philomena. Her mom was named Philomena. She was from uh, uh, the Italian section of uh, North Providence in Rhode Island. And yeah, I just remember that name. It was so cute. So anyway, back to the story. See how I get off on tangents. So since the day Philomena Fontana cast a curse upon her sister more than 200 years ago, not one second born Fontana daughter has found lasting love. Some like second born Amelia, the happily 
single baker at our grandfather's Brooklyn Deli, claim it's an odd coincidence. Others, like her sexy, desperate for love cousin Lucy, insist it's a true hex. But both are bewildered when their great aunt calls with an astounding proposition. If they accompany her to her homeland of Italy, Aunt Poppy vows she'll meet the love of her life on the steps of the Ravello Cathedral on her 18th birthday and break the Fontana second daughter curse once and for all. Against the backdrop of wandering Venetian canals, rolling Tuscan fields, and enchanting Amalfi Coast villages, romance blooms, destinies are found, and family secrets are unearthed. Se secrets that could threaten the family for more than a hundred centuries old curse. So anyway, I thought that sounded good, but I think the cover was really what got me into it because I just, I just love that movie under the Tuscan sun. But anyway, those are the three books that I got this month from the Book of the Month Club. And in a few days, it's going to be April. And I'm kind of hoping that I don't like anything in it so that I don't get some more books that I'm not going to read for a while. But you never know. I've been, I think I'm catching up at work. I may have a couple of hours, so I may be able to read a little bit more every night. And anyway, for me, it's just, uh, it's just part of my wellness Wednesday and just kind of learning to relax and de-stress and just kind of wipe out the day and start fresh in the morning. So anyway, I want to thank everyone for joining me. I hope that you have an amazing day tomorrow. Or well, if you're watching it in the morning, I hope today is an amazing day for you. But anyway, take care, everyone. I love you all. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.